Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show Express on SABC3 on this beautiful Heritage Day. We're celebrating it with all things proudly South African. And right now, I have with me here Ms. Palesa Mukubu, who started her business called Mantu in 2005, designing African attire using original, traditional African material. So proudly South African. I love that about her. She says uh, she's a self-taught Zulu, but she's actually Kimusoto, but Kimuzulu. Please tell us a bit, a bit about no, please, this. Please don't put me in this part. <laughs> no, I learned Zulu, self-taught. Zulu, I learned it by listening to Busim Klongo's CDs and reading and reading the the, the language. The lyrics yes, there. The lyrics, so yes. is Zulu South Africa Gezi like Angan? Well, I don't know. If I can say that. <laughs> but I it's great to have you here. Thank you. And I mean, uh, obviously, fashion has been has played quite a big role in in, in the history and the development of the country. I mean, when, you, when you look at back in the day, how let's say from leather skins and now yes. you've got, you got people that are using different kinds of materials to bring forth that Africanness in them, right? Yes. Tell us a bit about your inspiration and how you draw inspiration from Africa and South Africa specifically. Well, I like using Shresha and other fabrics, but the reason I like using Shresha in particular is because I just have always liked the the sense of pride and dignity that my my people in my community in my community have always worn it, yeah. and I think that was the the essence really of or right, where my passion for it or my my liking for it you know stems from. Yeah. But I think. Uh, from a design point of view, I've always wanted to just make it a lot more contemporary and just just fun and edgy. I wanted to to bring in a different interpretation interpretation of the, of the fabric. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I've I've tried. And I must say, you're doing that. Looking at your outfit, it looks absolutely amazing. Thank it, you. It's, it smacks of the African. High waisted pants. The modern day African woman, but still keeping it truly African. Tell me a bit about this piece you're wearing. It is a high. I have to stand. Please do. Please do. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. <laughs> it's high waisted pants. Uh -huh. Really, really chic. Mm -hmm. I mean, you find them these days made in satins and and all types of fabrics. But if you make it in this fabric, is it's just it's just different. I mean, yeah. it's it's bold, but it's also understated. And and I mean, the one thing that you can do with such a tradition or such a distinctive fabric yeah. is, as a designer, is to really just play with the cuts and the fits. Mm -hmm. And then she ends it off there smack bang with a nice little uh, con on, on stanya and that yes, very very South nice. African. Very very South African. Yes. The name Mansu. I love it. Where did it come from? It is a Sutta name. That's mm -hmm. what they used to call me when I was growing up because I was really, really, really <laughs> I dark. So. I was beautifully black, you yeah. know, or brutally black, if you want to call it that. <laughs> and um, and I just I use it really for my label just to just to really uh, influence my attitude yes. when I'm when I'm designing mm -hmm. really more than anything. Oh, yeah. And I and, and a, a few years ago I called Dagama to ask them to sponsor me with some fabrics and I said I'd, I would be the perfect uh, label to do that because of my Sutu, because my label is the only one in South Africa that, I, that is uh, a Sutu yeah. you know, fashion label. Well, speaking so. of the label Mansu, we have some models, some schmoodles. Check yes, it out. Yes, First yes. one up right over there. Ooh, oh, yes, hello. rocking the Makoti outfit. The Makoti That's what they're calling outfit. it backstage. Tell me about this oh, lovely yes. piece. So this is a wraparound skirt made for any body size and, and shape, really. It will look on, good on any 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 shape. Mm -hmm. And it's got the three-step sleeves uh, oh, that are very, nice. you know, it's funny to say Makoti. It's, they're just wedding-worthy sleeves. Wedding-worthy sleeves. Wedding-worthy sleeves. And this is worn a lot for for Lobala days, hey, you know, wedding, so wedding. Shai turn around, Shai turn around, Shai turn around. Very nice, yeah. works for any body type, any body type, and yeah. it's available in stores in, in Johannesburg. Look at that flair, huh? Hey, you nice feel one. safe, hey, right, nice one. Makoti! Yeah, nice girl, I ain't daba. Hey. Oh, hello, look, day, look at that. Eh? Very, you very see, nice. what I like about this jacket is that you can wear it with jeans, really, which, you know, oh. I just wear it on those days when I'm looking boring. <laughs> I just <laughs> throw on this jacket, I'm just the hottest girl in, in, in the place, like you she is right now. Really? It's got five colors. And I love this fabric because it just really performs well uh, because of its weight and and it also smells great, Stretcher. You know, it smells like royalty. Yeah. Very nice. Please turn Very towards nice. me, ladies. I need that it's is amazing. Those machines. colors make all yes. the difference. Yes. And I mean, corporate-wise, hitting it, let's say going to the office on that day, if you're feeling like wearing yep. the jeans with, this, with that smart shirt, yes. getting that jacket is absolutely yes. amazing. Yes. Liesl, you must nice feel one. very amazing. <laughs> I like all these modern-day Makoti things. You're doing it very, very well. Congratulations on the success of the business. It's doing amazingly well. Thank you so much. Oh, we're going to be exploring more of uh, Sispalesa's fashions a bit later on. Manto, the name of the label. Gotta love that. But right now, uh, South Africa is adopting a new trend, an international trend. Trend, swap shopping. Let's take a look at what this is all about and how it's changing the way we do things.